Top 10 Most Deadly Sea Creatures on Earth Hey there, YouTube. Now, it's common knowledge that the ocean is a mysterious place. There are points of the sea that are so deep that they have yet to be reached by humans. However, in addition to being a mysterious place, the ocean is also a dangerous place. There is no shortage of dangerous creatures that are known for being bloodthirsty and territorial. From sharks to the man of war, there are hundreds of dangerous animals lurking in the depths of the world's bodies of water. If you're not sure what to look for the next time you go swimming in the open ocean, then here's the top 10 most deadly sea creatures on Earth. Let's begin, shall we? Number 10, the Great White Shark. The Great White Shark is possibly the most famous predator of the seas. As the inspiration of more than a few Hollywood horror movies, it has become known as a dangerous and bloodthirsty creature that is willing to attack almost anything that it deems to be food. There's about 30 great white shark attacks on humans a year, but scientists say the sharks are not intending to kill the humans when they bite. Instead, it's out of curiosity. Oh, gee. Curiosity certainly, you know, ripped my leg off. Thanks, Bruce. Yeah, well, I guess it's okay then, you know, if it's an accident. The great white shark usually grows up to 15 feet long, however, some can grow up to be more than 20 feet in length. This shark can weigh up to an average of 5,000 pounds. For such a heavy animal, it's so strong it can swim up to speeds of 15 miles per hour. And also, when it catches up to you, it'll bite you with its 300 teeth. So next time you're in the open ocean, make sure you don't get cut or else you'll see a fin speeding towards you faster than you can swim. Number 9. The Sea Snake The sea snake is the name given to many different species of snakes that live in the sea. There are around 60 different types of sea snakes, and 14 of these species live or near the Great Barrier Reef off of the coast of Australia. The sea snake's shape aids its ability to swim, and their tails have evolved to include a paddle on the tail to help propel them through the water. They can grow to be between 4 and 5 feet long on average, and there have been documented cases of a sea snake reaching almost 10 feet in length. Although they live in the sea, they still require oxygen and do not have gills. However, their lungs do allow them to stay underwater from anywhere from half an hour to two hours at a time. Sea snakes also take oxygen from the seawater and absorb it through their skin. Sea snakes are dangerous because every species is incredibly venomous. Although most sea snakes are reported to avoid humans, a single bite can be very dangerous. The snakes are most active when they are mating, meaning it's time for you to stay out of the water there, buddy. Number 8. The Blue Ringed Octopus Not many people consider the octopus to be very dangerous, and they seem like sea creatures that would be transformed into friendly cartoon characters. Well, in other instances, in many places across the globe, an octopus is considered to be part of a delicious meal. However, not all octopuses are friendly. For the Blue Ringed Octopus is one of the deadliest creatures in the sea, and they are mostly found around Australia as well as around the borders of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Although only a few people encounter this dangerous cephalopod each year, most of the injuries from this creature prove to be fatal. The reason being that the bite of this octopus is extremely venomous. What makes this animal so dangerous is that it looks so innocent. The Blue Ringed Octopus can be found in waters near to the coast, and it is not afraid of beaches. When someone is bitten by one of these octopuses, they have often picked it up or tried to get too close to it. So, you know, kind of their own fault on this one. Number 7. The Lionfish The lionfish, while photogenic, is a venomous fish. It has dorsal fins that are the shape of needles, and that is how they deliver venom to both predator and prey. It is a carnivorous fish, and it prefers to eat shrimp and other fish. To catch its prey, it will use its fins to guide smaller fish into a trap and then swallow them. The lionfish mostly lives in the reefs in the Indo-Pacific Oceans. However, they can also be found anywhere where there is warm water. This fish is not very big, and it only grows to be around a foot long. It weighs anywhere from two and a half pounds to maybe a little bigger. Most lionfish are caught to be kept in aquariums, but some people eat them as food. When left alone in the wild, the average lionfish lives up to 15 years. Now, a sting from the lionfish is rarely fatal, however, being stung is very painful. It often results in difficulty breathing as well as nausea. Number 6. Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile is often referred to as the most dangerous animal in Australia, as it thrives both on land and in the water. Now, take that into consideration for just a second. The most dangerous animal in Australia. Literally, the air will kill you in Australia. Imagine how dangerous this thing is. When a person is near their habitat, there is no safe space to hide from these territorial and aggressive reptiles. This crocodile can grow up to 17 feet long and weigh around 1,000 pounds. However, huge crocs that grow up to 23 feet long and weigh over 2,000 pounds can be found. These reptiles are excellent swimmers and can be found not only on land but far out at sea. They hunt in both environments and they will eat anything that they can find. 
They can kill animals as large as a water buffalo on land, and they can even kill large sharks in the water. They will use their powerful bite to grab their prey, and they drag it under the water under its grip until the prey drowns. Sounds kind of sadistic, doesn't it? Well, welcome to Australia. Number 5. The Box Jellyfish Now, this jellyfish doesn't just make a little sting on your ankle. Its sting can give you a heart attack. The box jellyfish can grow to be around 10 feet long and only weighing around 5 pounds. Most of the body of a jellyfish is made up of tentacles, which are very delicate. This is why the jellyfish developed its venom. Its tentacles are far too delicate to use to catch prey. Most of these jellyfish live off of the coast of northern Australia, but they can also be found throughout the Indo-Pacific region. It uses its tentacles to sting prey, and every tentacle has as many as 5,000 stinging cells. These tentacles sting not when they are touched, but when they use a specific chemical on its prey that causes a reaction. Now, unlike other jellyfish, it can move through the water instead of just floating or drifting. They also have eyes so that they can see, although no one is sure whether or not they're able to process what they see. The venom of this jellyfish is incredibly painful, and the toxins in the venom will attack the nervous system as well as the heart and the skin. Many people have died as the result of being stung by a box jellyfish. Some actually go into shock and have heart attacks before they even make it to the shore. Those that survive will often have serious pain and a large scar that may last for a lifetime. That's a bad squishy. Bad squishy. Number 4. The Portuguese Man of War The Portuguese Man of War is one of the most mysterious and bizarre animals in the ocean. Also, it's very deadly. Technically, it's an invertebrate, making it often mistaken for a jellyfish. However, it's not even a single creature. That means it's not a single animal, but an animal that is made up of many organisms that work together to form a single moving creature. This kind of creature is called a siphonosphere. The body of this creature is only a foot long, but its tentacles can reach as long as 165 feet deep in the ocean. It drifts in the currents, catching whatever floats into its long tentacles and kills instantly. If a dead fish killed by a man of war washes ashore, it can still sting you to the touch, which is way worse than a static shock. Number 3. The Stonefish The stonefish is living proof that an animal does not need a powerful jaw or a strong body to be a serious predator. The stonefish is only a few inches long and often only reaches about 5 pounds in weight. However, it is the most venomous fish in the world and it looks like a sea rock so you'd have to be looking hard for it. That is if you wanted to see it, of course. Personally, I'd rather die and not see that my killer was a fish. When prey swims by, it swims very fast and then attacks it using the venom in its 13 spines. Although they wait for prey to swim by before they attack, they do not wait on humans or creatures out of their food chain. They also do not attack when they are swimming. The poison is used to mostly to attack predators that threaten them. However, humans can still be stung by a stonefish. If you do step on a stonefish, you can be stung and the venom of a stonefish is very painful. Anyone who is stung by one must immediately seek medical treatment if they wish to live. The venom can lead to heart failure if the wound is not treated. Number 2. The Tiger Shark Yeah, I kind of expected this one on the list because tiger sharks are scary. The tiger shark is another of the most dangerous fish in the sea. After the great white, they are the second most likely shark to attack humans. However, unlike the great white shark, the tiger shark is more likely to continue attacking a human rather than swim away. The tiger shark often grows from 10 to 14 feet in length and can weigh as much as 1,400 pounds. It is a powerful swimmer and an indiscriminate scavenger. It has a typical increased sense of smell that is common to many sharks and it can also see incredibly well. The tiger shark is known for eating almost everything and they will attack any moving creature nearby. Scientists have revealed the contents of a tiger shark's stomach, finding other dangerous creatures like stingrays and seals as well as birds, squids, and sea snakes. It's also been given the very well-deserved nickname of the trash can of the sea. Number 1. The Stingray The stingray is a fickle creature. It enjoys spending time in shallow waters that are temperate in nature. You can find stingrays off the coast of any continent in the world, especially around the equator. The stingray usually spends most of their days buried in the sand or floating in the ocean. Its living situation is perfectly designed for them because of the shape and color of their bodies. They can grow up to 7 feet and can weigh up to 800 pounds. The stingray is actually related to the shark, and like sharks, the stingray has electrical sensors around its mouth when they believe that prey is nearby. They will use their mouths to catch them, and the teeth of the stingray is strong enough to crush open oysters, clams, and mussels. The part of the stingray that is most dangerous is its venomous tail, and if it stings you, you'd likely not make it. There have been many famous stingray deaths. In Greek mythology, Odysseus was killed with the spine of a stingray, and then Steve Irwin, the Australian conservationist and animal worker, was also stung in the heart by the barb of a stingray's spine. And we still really miss him to this day. 
And that's our video for today, everybody. The most dangerous creatures in the sea are often the most unsuspecting. Most of them are dangerous only when humans accidentally wander into their paths. But that bad luck is scary enough. Tell me, which of these deadly sea creatures featured in this list have you survived before? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content from us here at Top 5 Best. With that said, we'll see you soon.